Hello, how is everybody? I'm just getting everything going here. Welcome, welcome everybody to my weekly video. I'm Dr. Stacy Shillington, naturopathic doctor and skincare expert, acne, anti-aging. I love that stuff so much. And I am here to talk today about parasites. I know it's such a gross topic. And I'm sure you've seen pictures on the internet of people that have had parasites. Um, but I want to talk specifically about parasites and acne. Because yes, there is a connection. And yes, acne can be caused by parasites. So if you have acne, and say you've tried a lot of things. You've tried diets, you've tried herbs. Even some people that are on my seven week program, they try the program and it might work for a little bit, then everything just, you know, kind of unravels or else they're just not getting any results. And I often see this when the gut is just not healing. We're doing herbs, we're doing diet, and things are not budging. When that's happening, then I consider parasites as a potential cause of the acne. And I know it's gross, but we have to talk about it because parasites are real. They are a huge worldwide problem. Some sources estimate that 90% of people in North America are going to experience at least one parasitic infection in their life. And worldwide, parasitic infections now outrank cancer as the number one cause of death. Like parasites are real, they are taking over. We have to talk about it because it's not something that's being readily discussed and recognized by mainstream or even alternative medicine. When I was a naturopathic doctor, we did not talk a lot about parasitic infections at all. That's four years of training. And I don't think we really had that much time devoted to it. It's something that as a naturopath, I had to learn on my own. I had to research on my own. And there are not a lot of really great sources out there to guide us as how to do this. So there's a bit of trial and error involved and a lot of referencing what people did traditionally. So and you may think, okay, I live in North America. I have a very sanitary life. I'm in the States. I'm in Canada. I don't have to worry about parasites. Guys, that's not the case. The CDC, the Center for Disease Control, released a huge report in 2014. And these critters are really invading us. I have some stats here. What is it? 60 million people in the US in 2014 are infected with Toxoplasma gondii. That's a parasite you get from raw meat and from cats. 5.5 million people per year acquire protozoa from contaminated drinking water in the States. Like these are real numbers, guys, right? And this one, oh, this one got me. Over 50 million children in the States have some type of worms. Are you kidding me? That's a ton. There are some serious health problems going on there that are caused by worms and they are not being properly identified and treated. Anyways, so why aren't we finding these parasites? Why isn't this more of a, you know, why isn't the solution taken as seriously as the problem? Because there is a problem out there. And it's because number one, a lot of doctors are not trained to recognize the signs of parasites. And that can be because the signs of parasites can be really broad and not specific. So, you know, that's number one. Number two, the testing of parasites is really not great. So the traditional way to test parasites is a stool test. But in order to accurately see and identify parasites, a live parasite needs to be on the microscopic slide and the technician needs to see this little parasite swimming around in order to say, yes, there are parasites here. But the truth is, par sometimes parasites are dormant, sometimes they're active, 
and you don't always get a live parasite in a stool sample, and that live parasite doesn't even make it to the lab alive most of the time. So there are tons of false positives on stool tests. So, you know, even if you suspect you have a parasite, you can send in some tests and it will come back negative when in reality, most of the time, we're positive. So, you know, there is another way to test for parasites, which is a little bit better. It's a comprehensive digestive stool analysis. It's what a lot of naturopaths used. I've used it many times. And it creates a special technology so that we can see the DNA of the parasites. And, you know, that makes it more helpful and more reliable, but still, parasite testing is not perfect at all. And that's one of the reasons why parasites aren't identified and treated better. So, um, so let me tell you a little bit about the signs and symptoms of a parasitic infection. What you can, some things that may be going on in your body that you can attribute to parasites. And I'm gonna warn you, these are really like broad, non-specific symptoms a lot of the time but if you're really sick and you've been chronically sick for a long time and that sickness includes acne and this is i see this many times in a lot of people that i treat um so a lot of them have a lot of these symptoms so i wrote them down because there's a lot of them okay listen to this guys do any of these symptoms resonate with you so unexplained constipation diarrhea gas or ibs yeah, a lot of people have that, right? Trouble falling asleep or waking during the night. Any type of insomnia, could be parasites. Any type of skin irritation, eczema, psoriasis, hives, rashes, acne is included in that. Grinding your teeth at night, pain in your muscles and your joints, fatigue, exhaustion, depression, any type of chronic fatigue, um, never feeling fully satisfied after your meals, always feeling hungry. That can be a sign of parasites. Um, iron deficiency anemia, and I want to say this again, iron deficiency anemia. If you are a woman who has a pretty good diet, but you are constantly diagnosed with low iron levels, despite doing everything you can, you may want to consider a parasite. So um, traveling internationally, of course, we all know that one. History of food poisoning and never feeling quite right afterwards. Um, multiple food sensitivities, floaters in your eyes, and floaters in, in your eyes are when you look up and you kind of see black dots in your vision. Um, itchy ears, itchy nose, itchy anus, those are huge, shots, huge signs that there might be a parasite. So if you experience any of that, you know, think about it. Chronic candida, chronic yeast, chronic sinus infections, chronic, chronic urinary, urinary tract infections, and chronic ear infections. Whenever there's a chronic infection going on that's not clearing up with rounds of antimicrobials that keeps coming back, you may want to consider parasites as an underlying cause and immune dysfunction. So those are some of the symptoms that parasites can cause. And as you can tell, they're pretty broad, pretty nonspecific, and there's a lot of other things that could cause those symptoms. But like I said, when you've exhausted everything else, you may want to consider parasites. You may want to consider doing parasite testing as well. But again, if you've tried everything, the test comes back false, negative, you may just want to do a parasite cleanse anyway. So what is the link between acne and parasites? How do parasites cause acne? It's really simple. In my program, we talk a lot about healing the gut and parasites are incredibly damaging for the gut. They are like dysbiosis on steroids. So the parasites are gonna cause damage to the gut. It's going to flare up your skin. And parasites can also damage the liver. The liver is another organ that is critical to be working properly in order to avoid acne. And parasites can really, really stop that from happening. Um, 
and also candida. You know, when there's a candida that just won't go away, that often leads to acne and parasites can be behind that. So there are some direct ways in which parasites can contribute to acne. And I know that we want to solve that, right? So first of all, I just want to talk briefly about how you can get a parasitic infection because some of you may be saying, well, I'm, I haven't even left North America. That's just not on my list. That's not the case. However, if you've been traveling, you definitely have a higher likelihood of having a parasitic infection. Um, but the ways you can acquire water, drinking contaminated water, um, such as if you're camping or even if, I don't know, a dog has like licked the water and then somehow you drink it. Contaminated water can give you parasites. Humans, touching humans that have eggs, you know, under their fingernails, you know, over 50 million children in the U.S. have some type of worm. So, you know, even like holding your child's hand or anything like that can transmit um, parasites into your body. And that's crazy. That over 50, 50 million kids have worms. Animals, if you have a dog, if you have a cat, you have a much higher chance of having acquired a parasite, and that's the case with the toxoplasmosis, Gandhi. The 60 million Americans that have that BTW. Meats and raw fish. So I don't know if you guys love sushi. I do, and I've eaten a lot of sushi, but that's definitely a way to contract parasites. And pork is a huge offender. Eating undercooked pork huge no no pork tapeworms are notorious for being really gross and awful in your body uh, unwashed fruits and vegetables and walking barefoot so those are the ways that we get parasites even in north america where we think we're super sanitary and we are immune from that type of thing it's happening all around us so finally how do you get rid of parasites? So now that I've freaked you out and probably grossed you out, and if you want to be grossed out even more, just type parasites into Google and see what comes up in terms of images because it's disgusting. Um, so parasite cleanses are a very traditional thing. Almost every culture in the world has some type of cleansing tradition. Usually it's done in the spring, usually it's done in the fall. According to Chinese medicine, the fall is the perfect time to do a parasite cleanse because that is the season that corresponds with the large intestine. So it's a great time to cleanse. And there's a lot of really amazing traditional remedies that have been used to help get rid of parasites such as wormwood, black walnut, oregano, garlic, cloves, um, olive leaf, so those are just a few of them. There's also some other great ones out there. And then there's some foods as well that have been used, you know, forever to help cleanse the body of parasites. Apple cider vinegar, coconut oil, olive oil, onions, garlic, pumpkin seeds. Um, I, th I think I got most of them. Berries are really good as well. So consuming these foods are really important to helping get rid of the parasites as well as avoiding all types of sugar and starchy carbohydrates because those are what is going to feed and strengthen the parasites, which we do not want to do, right? So I have decided in my seven week clear skin program group, which is an amazing group, by the way, if you guys have acne and you want to solve your acne, this is the program for you to be a part of. But within my group, we are going to do a 10 day parasite cleanse and we are going to do it around the full moon because parasites tend to be most active around the full moon. You might think that's a little woo woo, but it's not actually. So between October 19th to October 29th, I'm going to lead my group on an amazing parasitic cleanse for the skin. You know, it's going to be focused on clean cleansing the skin, getting rid of the acne, but the whole body is going to benefit. If you have any of the signs and symptoms that I talked about earlier, you want to get on board for this cleanse because it could be the thing that literally transforms your health, especially if you've tried everything else. Um, this is going to be really cool. And it could just, you know, anyways, it's transformative. 
I personally am really excited to do this because I have some signs and symptoms that lead me to believe that maybe parasites are a part of my life. I mean, I've managed to clear my skin. I've managed to make some great health changes in myself over the last 10, 15 years. So I generally feel really good, but there's some things that are just off for me. And, you know, those are some things that I want to address. And the things that are off for me are insomnia. I still deal with insomnia. I have trouble falling asleep. And funnily enough, it's always around the full moon. My nerves just feel really tingly and really irritated at night. And so I'm like, tried everything. Nothing's really solved it. So I'm thinking maybe that could be related. I have iron deficiency anemia. I've always had it. I can't seem to shake it. Even though I re eat a really good diet, I do eat re red meat here and there, um, but I just can't shake this iron deficiency anemia. And when I do take iron, it completely upsets my body. So thinking that could be part of it, multiple food sensitivities, even though I've healed myself, I do have to adhere pretty strictly to a diet or else my body does freak out. Floaters in my eyes, I often see little floaters in my eyes. Some people say that's related to adrenal fatigue. I don't know. It's also related to parasites. So that's another reason why I want to try it. Itchy ears and nose. Yeah, I always have that. And that's a sure sign that something is living and creeping and crawling in me. And I do have a tendency to candida. And I've always had that. And I just can't budge it for good. So... That's another reason why I personally want to do this cleanse and also heart issues. The last four years, I've had really, really intense heart issues to the point where I've had three heart attacks and nobody can understand exactly why it's happening. It's completely unknown. So, you know, I just want to see maybe this could be an underlying cause because when you just can't figure something out, you know, maybe parasites are causing it. I don't know. I have a lot of symptoms, so I'm really excited to do this cleanse. So enough about me. I would love for you to join us. And I invite you to join the seven week clear skin program. It's an amazing program. It's an amazing value, lots of information, lots of great support. And if you join before October 19th, you get to be part of the, the 10 day parasite cleanse too, which is a huge, huge deal. And normally I offer my program at $397, but I'm going to offer it at $297 for the next little while so that you can join the program, join the Parasite Cleanse, and just get your clear skin journey kick started, right? Because no more acne, really. There's no time in your life for acne. I know that. I've been there. I know how it affects you emotionally and physically. No more. Let's be done with it. Okay, so I've talked long enough. I want to sign off now. I want to remind you to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, because I give great tips every day. And I really want to be part of your healing journey, whether it's your clear skin journey, whether it's your aging beautifully journey and BTW, if you want to age beautifully, you have to get rid of parasites if they're part of your problem because yeah, it's not easy to age beautifully with parasites. <laughs> so that's enough for today. Have a fantastic week and I'm going to send out a link through my email group, through my Instagram group, and also through my Facebook group. So you can join the program and join the Parasite Cleanse that we are going to do so we feel amazing. Okay, guys. See you soon. Bye.